As one of the leading electricity providers in the world and part of the EPRI Smart Grid Demonstration Initiative, EDF is actively investigating the challenges of future grid architecture, new delivery, and consumption patterns. The demonstration project supported by EDF, called Premio, is located in the southeast region of France, which faces two important challenges the increase of peak load consumption and reliance on a unique 400 kV double line in the eastern region can lead to higher risks of power outages, especially in the case of hazards such as damage to the line, exceeding load specifications or forest fires. During very high demand periods or natural disasters, power system operators must limit supply on some transmission lines to avoid power outages causing congestions on other points of the grid. Once such congestions occur, regional generation facilities are asked to increase their production in accordance with their specific capacity. However, regional electricity generation covers less than half of the demand in that area, and this situation is aggravated by the distance between generation and consumption sites. This makes managing the power system difficult, and load shedding can affect numerous customers. Power system operators are already reinforcing the grid in response to these problems by building new transmission lines and new production facilities. However, in some specific areas, these solutions are facing high costs and opposition from residents and may not meet the rising demand in time. Demand response and local distributed generation management are being considered and require innovative solutions. Today, EDF is exploring new ways to offer flexible load reduction capacity to the grid. The Premio Virtual Power Plant utilizes different distributed resources installed at the customer sites, which are all connected to a control unit. The distributed resources are new technologies developed by small and medium enterprises in order to be integrated into the smart grids. There are three basic types. Renewable generation, like solar thermal power generation, storage such as batteries and thermal storage buffers, and load shedding with programmable controllers for electrical devices or dimmable LED lighting. They all use the same language and communicate directly with the control unit. The control unit gathers data from each distributed resource to determine its capacity for load reduction of the current day and the day after. When an operator forecasts the need to reduce the load in a premio area, the control unit receives an advanced warning. By taking into account individual distributed resources capacities, the control unit calculates the maximum load reduction available during load peaks and sends this information to the operator. Once the operator's request is confirmed, the control unit divides the request optimally and dispatches the individual requests or orders to every distributed resource. Overall load is thus reduced through a diversity of means that are the distributed resources. Distributed resources technologies are controlled by the control unit without intervention of the customer, but the customer can override the request as he wishes. The control unit is thus constantly recalculating the total capacity for load reduction. Through an elaborate optimization system, Premio Virtual Power Plant enables the aggregation of diverse distributed resources in response to constraints coming from the grid. With the Premio Virtual Power Plant and other smart grid demonstration projects being started, EDF is clearly showing its dedication in bringing innovative solutions to run the power system in an ever smarter way. For more information, please visit www.research.edf.com.